Hi, in this video I want to demonstrate how to install SFTP on a Windows Server machine using OpenSSH. And um, in a later video I'm actually going to demonstrate how to use this OpenSSH software which runs SFTP on port 22 with your normal IIS FTP web server which runs on 21 with shared directories for each user uh, such that basically for one server you're going to be serving SFTP and FTP and have it point to the same user directory uh, but in this particular video I'm actually just gonna uh, show the installation as of SF, SFTP with open SSH so uh, I'm gonna get started here by going to the website and downloading the free software and all of this is going to be in the description portion of the uh, video so I'm going to go to this website and um, what they've done here is they've packaged the OpenSSH in a convenient installable uh, binary. So I've downloaded it here and I'm actually going to uh, install it now. Um, so let's do that and I'm going to click run. and it's going to install in the program files x86 icw directory it's going to create a built-in user account here to run ssh and as it's installing uh, i've actually done something prior to this which is actually create all the users so i'm going to go over that uh, really quickly um, as this is installing uh, it says here no users allowed to use it. Okay, um, I'll show you that step later also. Okay, so let me just double check here. I've just gone into the services window and I'm going to refresh and I just want to make sure that it installed properly. So OpenSSH did install properly and it's actually running. Um, so let me just go to my cheat sheet here. Okay, so I've installed, I've downloaded the software, I've installed the software, and now I wanna go over the creation of the users. So um, if I go to admin tools, computer management, where I create the users, I just wanna show you the users that I've created uh, in a prior step. So I've simply created the FTP user 010203, and these are just normal NT users and OpenSSH will use the Windows credentials to log in so whatever password I've set here for the Windows user is the password they're, they're going to use to uh, log into SFTP uh, I've also created some Windows groups for security management so I've created FTP users and you'll see within the group I've just put the normal users in the FTP user 1010203 so that's how I'm gonna manage the permissions um, so that's one step and I've also created the folder here so let me go over that um, if I go to the C drive you'll see I created a folder here a root folder for holding the home directories of the users so what's going to happen is uh, these folders that I've created has to be the name of the users exactly because after they log in uh, by default they're going to be logged into their home directory and this will be their home directory under c colon ftp root and then their usernames respectively um, however uh, after I've installed OpenSSH uh, I do have to configure it somewhat so I'm gonna go into program files x86 the ICW and you'll notice this is gonna be the root directory uh, because it uses SIGWIN which is a uh, UNIX on Windows um, when a person logs in this is gonna be their root directory so they can navigate to root um, and you'll notice there's already a home directory here so likely after the user logs in this is where it's gonna point to to slash home and I really don't want that. I, I want it to point to what I've determined to be the slash home directory, which is c colon ftp root. 
So in order to configure that, I'm going to go into ETC. So this is the directory I'm in, uh, ETC, and um, I'm going to open up Notepad, and I'm simply going to copy this first entry, and I'm going to alter it to point to or to, to do the uh, directory mapping here FTP root to slash home so the root folder or the slash home folder is gonna point to my uh, C colon FTP root here so I've saved that and I'm, I'm gonna have to restart the system now or the service so I'll, I'll be doing that here, restarting the service. So I've created the home directories of the same name, and I have to activate the users. So what that means is um, there's actually a password file here. Uh, as in the case with many Unix systems and what the uh, I'm going to use the utility here that comes with the installation that is activate user so what that utility does it's actually going to put an entry in here that says I've activated one of the NT accounts to be able to log in to uh, via SFTP and all it's going to do is really going to put an entry in here for that user into this password file. So let me demonstrate that now. If I go to the start menu, um, there will be some icons that are installed here that is activate user. So if I go into ICW in the bin directory, there's actually some utilities user activation wizard and I actually put those in my task bar but nevertheless if I double click on that in the bin directory and I say activate FTP user 01 and uncheck these two because I, I don't necessarily want to create those public keys uh, but I do want it to link so I'm gonna just click next and I do that for every user just unchecking these two boxes and keeping this third box checked and it tells me that FTP user 01 is activated so what I've done over there is I've actually selected the NT account that I want to activate uh, meaning the NT account that I want to put the entry into the password file for so if I go back to Etsy and I open this up you'll see now there's this entry for FTP user meaning I could actually log in so I have file Zilla here and I'm actually gonna do that now I'm gonna log in uh, so it's just simply localhost FTP user 01 my password is just password123 and I'm going to log in via port 22 which is the SFTP port and do a quick connect and it's going to prompt me for the SSH whether I accept the SSH certificate and I say yes and you'll notice now I'm logged in to the folder but you'll notice there's some issue here I, I could see everybody else's folder and worst yet I could actually see the root directory and I could basically do anything uh, to it so I, I actually have to and a lot of people on the internet have had questions as to how do you prevent this how do you restrict it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually prevent that from happening and the way to do that is to go to this root directory here 
So you'll, you'll notice what's being listed here is actually the program files ICW folder which is this folder here. So I'm gonna go up here and because if you remember I put all the FTP users into one security group to be managed and what I'm gonna do here is edit the permissions on that ICW folder and I'm gonna deny the permissions here for that group so the FTP users group which has many users in it um, namely FTP user 01, 02 and 03 and I'm just gonna deny the listing here for this particular folder and it gives me a warning saying that deny permissions actually override all other permissions which is what I want um, so what's going to happen is if a user's in many groups um, the deny permissions overrides all the other permissions I have for that particular user even if the user appears in many groups where they have listing permission uh, the deny in one of any of the groups will deny them so I'm going to click OK here and I'm going to click OK so now for all of these folders it will be denied listing permission and I'm going to demonstrate that by going back into FileZilla logging in via SFTP again I'm prompted I'll just say OK and you'll see if I try to list it I get this error here permission denied so that's fixed you know now I, I can't list the folders um, but I still have the issue now where I could see everybody else's home folder because if you remember I actually pointed the home directory to this C colon FTP root so how do I resolve that um, so I'm going to do basically the same thing um, in the FTP root directory I'm also going to deny permissions using that FTP group so I'm going to do the same thing I did to the ICW. Um, you'll notice it actually has listing permissions. I'm actually just going to edit that. Make sure I'm on FTP users group. And I'm going to say deny. And this is actually going to cause another issue because it's actually going to prevent me from going into my um, home directory. Uh, so you'll, you'll actually see that. Uh, do you want to continue? Again, the same warning that deny takes precedence over all other entries. I'm going to say yes. OK. OK. And you'll see if I actually go back into FileZilla and I log in once again and I click OK, I can't log into my home directory because I just prevented myself from going into it by putting that deny permission so how do I do that how do I fix that now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to FTP user go to under properties security and I'm actually gonna have to prevent the permissions from above from inheriting downward so if I clicked advanced and uh, just remembering where we are, we're in the FTP user 01's home directory. So those are the permissions that I'm applying on. So I'm going to say here, uh, after I click advanced, so after I click advanced, this window opens, and I'm going to say disable inheritance. And I'm going to say uh, convert all inheritance permissions. And I'm going to click OK, apply, OK and now it's not all the permissions is not inherited from the parent folder it's just individually applied to each folder so I am gonna delete this entry here so I'm gonna delete this that denies my entry to that folder I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna have to add specifically 
permissions for my FTP user 01 folder permissions specific to that user so here it's already you know read execute list and I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna have to do that to every one of these accounts so I'm just gonna repeat what I did before go under the security tab uh, waiting for it to enumerate the uh, security settings. I'm going to click advanced, dis inherit, convert inherited permissions, click apply, OK, and it once again, and I'm going to remove the FTP users because it denies my permissions. And add specifically FTP user 02 because I'm in the FTP user 02 folder and under that I have the listing permissions so I'm just gonna click apply OK and you know I'll have to do the same thing with FTP user 03 but um, I just want to demonstrate what that fixes now so I'm gonna exit out of FileZilla go back in and I'm going to do a quick connect via SFTP and notice I'm able to log in now to my FTP user 01 folder and when I try to list the home directories all I see is my own which, which is uh, a lot better than before because before I actually saw all the other users and its folders and now I can't so that's how you secure the permissions um, installing SFTP and um, you know via OpenSSH. So you'll see now I actually installed. Uh, I mean, I actually uploaded a file, and that's it. Um, so that's how you set up all the permissions and fix all the permissions after you've installed OpenSSH. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you for watching.